Hello, hi, and welcome to Unpath of Fire. I am your reader, Jay. This is going to be a special, possibly a new series that I do here on the channel uh, for folks that are dealing with uh, Aquariuses right now, but you're not in communication with this Aquarius. So if you have lost contact with an Aquarius, you've been ghosted by, or you ghosted an Aquarius, or you guys have had a falling out and you haven't seen eye to eye in a while, maybe you want some insight into what that Aquarius might want to say to you, if communication were to open back up, then this is the reading for you, okay? All right, guys, welcome to it. <laughs> if you're a first-time viewer of my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping in. And if you're a returning viewer, good to see you again. Either way it goes, I hope you all are doing well. All right, guys, let's see. Uh, so this is just something that I've decided to throw together, see if it works for the channel. It really was something that was cultivating over the past week inside. Like, it just kept coming through in meditations to do uh, videos like this or do messages like this. So I finally kind of put something together. I think it works. It's, it's felt pretty good. I've done four so far. Uh, and I think I'm going to end up doing all 12 Zodiacs. And again, it's for not Aquariuses. If you're an Aquarius and you're watching this, sure, uh, you can. But this is specifically for those where you know an Aquarius and you're not speaking with them. Okay. So this is where the cross watcher is really kind of the focal uh, viewer. Okay. So anyway, what you're going to see, you're going to see three cards down here in the bottom left. That is the message coming from Aquarius to you, the viewer. And we'll also do a line that would go from you to Aquarius up here in the top right, okay? Uh, there will be a timestamp in the description box below, so if you want to skip ahead, you may do that, because I will be shuffling live on camera, and who knows how long that will ever take. It's, it's, it varies, yeah? Also down there is the information you need. If you want a personal reading, follow the steps. If you have any questions, though, before you place an order, email me at the same address, all right? All right, guys, let's get into it. If Aquarius could speak, I mean, everybody potentially can speak, right? <laughs> but if Aquarius was going to speak to you, viewer, what would they like to share with you? What's, what's going on in their head? What does Aquarius want to say to the viewer? What does Aquarius want to say to the viewer? Please show me with three cards. I think I feel like I might need a bridge. Yeah, okay. They're like, yeah. Interesting. That's good. Perfect. All right, three cards for what Aquarius would like to say. What does Aquarius want to say? Oh, there's one. All right. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> and I might be clearing my throat a bit. I had a a coffee late in the day and coffee sometimes gives me a scratchy throat so i'll apologize ahead of time if i keep clearing my throat in your guys's ear okay second card for aquarius what would aquarius like to say to the viewer if they were speaking right now okay there we go and the final card from aquarius to the viewer well we don't take more than two final card from aquarius please Mm -mm. There it is. Oh, and it flipped upside down and everything. Guy did a little break dance move, didn't you? Didn't you, Mr. Page of Pentacles? All right. So that's coming from Aquarius. You're also going to see a shared energy in the middle, guys, which we'll discuss towards the end. All right. And so what would the viewer like to say to Aquarius if the communication lines were open? What would the viewer like to say to Aquarius? This might be redundant for you <laughs> or it might be a revelation for you. Or if you're an Aquarius and you're cross watching, it'll it'll be important to you. Sidewinder position. Let's see. Oh. Yes. Good. Thank you. Second card from the viewer to Aquarius, please. Thank you. Another side. Listen, you might be a little tongue-tied or a little hesitant to speak to Aquarius, huh? You don't know what to say, maybe? That's only because these two came in the side position. Yes, thank you. Final card, please, from the viewer to Aquarius. <laughs> came in the side position, too. <laughs> oh, man, this is in the way here. Hold on a second. No bottom of the deck energy in this reading, guys. We'll do an oracle at the end if I feel compelled. Also might uh, clarify if some of the messages aren't exactly clear. This is a side again. Which way, please? Mm, yes, thank you. All right. 
Cool. Let's flip everything that came face down. Well, Aquarius is in a mood. <laughs> or maybe they've got something on their brain, but I don't know just yet. We'll figure it out. All right. Again, guys, this is the line from Aquarius to you and you to Aquarius up at the top. All right. So collectively, what Aquarius would like to say to you, viewer, is seven of pentacles, ten of pentacles, and page of pentacles. All right. Uh, so maybe the reason why you're not talking is because Aquarius is shifting things around in their physical life. They might be having money woes or something like that. Like that's just stuff I'm getting right off the top with this in particular. It might deal with like family finances or something like that. But that's just an overall of what these three together might mean. Let's see individually what's going on. Seven of Pentacles. Oh, yeah, Aquarius is really <sighs> evaluating next steps in their life. You know, I feel there's a concentrated energy or concentrated focus on where they're going, what they want, how they're going to get there, who's going to be by their side, who are they like this woman would be if she was like, really, if someone was like really tending their garden, who am I trimming away? Who am I, you know, what rose am I clipping from the bush and tossing into the compost heap? Something like that. Um, Aquarius is being very, uh, meticulous, uh, very measured or very, uh, it feels calculated, not calculated in the sense of like sneaky or underhanded, but calculated as in based on what Aquarius wants in the future, how can I proceed? And, you know, why that would be quote unquote, why you're not talking to Aquarius or they're not talking to you or vice versa, it's not really clear just yet because, again, I'm not feeling that something something is so burdensome to them because I think Aquarius is handling this very well. You know, I could be wrong about that, but it feels like even if this is imperative, this evaluation of what they're doing now and what they're going to do in the future and who's going to be there, how much money they'll need, blah, 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 blah right? It doesn't feel that that is reason enough to not talk to you or reason enough to not talk to whomever, you know, this could be, you know, Aquariuses can do that. They can kind of, you know, peace out on people and they can kind of duck away, you know, <laughs> anyway, I'm not, I'm not going to characterize Aquarius too much right now, but so it feels like they really are minding their P's and Q's in terms of work, in terms of finances, in terms of, <clears throat> pardon me, in terms of just like keeping their life balanced and stable, right? They have to keep their life balanced and stable. So maybe that's why, you know, maybe you guys are friends, you know, I it, and this is open for everybody, guys. You could be friends to an Aquarius, you could be family members, you could be partners or lovers. It doesn't really matter. But I'm feeling that maybe the reason they're not talking to you is because maybe your interaction with them would be a distraction, from what they have to do. So this is sort of like a TCB, taking care of business kind of thing, it feels like thus far. The second part that Aquarius would tell you is the Ten of Pentacles. So again, this is, you know, what I was basically saying is, is part of their goal is long-term stability with the Ten of Pentacles. This is about firm foundations. This is about legacy and building up to, you see how this very small woman is holding up this huge dinner plate with that very big family home uh, pictured there in the center. So, you know, it could be you guys are not talking because you have different goals in mind, okay? If you're a friend, this is just a supposed, if you're a friend of Aquarius and you kind of live a bachelor or bachelorette kind of lifestyle and Aquarius eventually wants to settle down, this is just an example. And given all these together, I, I would be surprised that the particular Aquarius that you've come here to talk about isn't in some way thinking about long-term future plans, right? And maybe that's not you. Maybe you are, or someone or other people in their life is just like a party animal kind of energy that is no longer suitable for Aquarius in the long run. So there is now this distancing and, and silence between you guys. Does that make sense? So it doesn't feel aggressive. This doesn't feel like it's even personal. It's really more about Aquarius is reflecting on what value, what am I valuing in my life now? And am I taking those things that I value, those relationships that I value with me in the future? 
Aquarius, again, like, it feels like a deuce, like a, like a chucking of a deuce, or just like a, I'll be back eventually kind of thing. It really, this, this, this lack of communication with this particular Aquarian energy doesn't feel adversarial, doesn't feel in response to anything that has happened between you two specifically, or any bad blood. It just feels like Aquarius's priorities have come to the forefront and therefore they're concentrating all their energy on that okay what well, these nails are adequate to pick up cards anyway <laughs> their final card in their three uh card message would be the page of pentacles in reverse i'll show you this upright so you can get uh better used to it so maybe that's it like i said uh, their message to you could be here i am Getting my ducks in a row with the Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. I'm really evaluating my a life, my my a life, my life as an adult. And there might be some criticism from Aquarius towards you or towards just the vibe that Aquarius has been living in recently, which is an immature energy with the Page of Pentacles in reverse, not necessarily taking care of bills, not necessarily saving money, setting up retirement plans, you know, everything like that. This really feels like Aquarius is wanting to become an adult. I don't care how old they are. They could be 18 years old. They could be 82 years old. It really doesn't matter. But there is this focus for Aquarius to put down childish things, to no longer behave in a ignorant way ignorant in the sense of like i don't know how to file my taxes and like you've worked for the past 10 years of your life like eventually you should figure that shit out you know what i mean especially if down the line at some point in the future or right now some of them you have a, some aquariuses already have a family they have a husband they have a wife they have kids whatever but they still don't know how to do their taxes and they still make errors and like they've been doing this for decades now so there's this energy of Aquarius is feeling very, it feels very inward. It feels like even if, no, this is not, no. They've really turned their back on or are in the process of turning their back on things that fall by, not fall by the way said, but things that are incomplete, you know, relationships that are not mature enough and it feels actually mostly well not mostly it feels partially like an internal criticism so they would tell you i'm trying my best to be an adult i'm trying my best to grow up i want to i want to be able to take better care of myself or take better care of my family and i have to prioritize that right now or some of them have that same critique for you i'm trying to take care of the family or i'm trying to become a better pardon me, a more well-equipped adult and you, viewer, you're not on that level. You're not syncing up with my goals. So that's why we're not talking, okay? Interesting. Now, what would you tell Aquarius if the lines of communication were open? First thing you tell them is Page of Swords. Well, fuck you too, buddy. No, <laughs> that's a joke. That's a joke. I don't really feel that. I think that this is sort of... <laughs> Some of you are already aware of their reasonings. <laughs> so you might tell them, I already know this dude. I already, girl, I, I, already, I can tell. Like, you might be looking at them, like, posting things about personal fin finance goals on their Facebook wall. Or you heard through the grapevine that they went and saw a, a, a personal finance accountant or something like that. And you might just be hearing things because the Page of Swords is like a gatherer of information. Uh, the Page of Swords can be a spy. If this is your friend, like, I don't know why you would spy on them, but maybe some of you are. Uh, but you're pretty much aware of everything that they're doing. You know, the evaluation, having to, you know, take care of the bottom line, make sure that the house is, is stable, make sure that their family is secure, and them, you know, kind of learning as they go. You already know that. So you would tell them, as much as they might be thinking they're breaking news to you, you'd be like, I already know. Like, it's not a secret, okay? <laughs> uh, Page of Swords is definitely, like I said, a, a gatherer of information, somebody that can <sighs> sort of read between the lines, even if it's a young or immature or novice, rather, novice energy, right? So, and I think you might be a little, like, ticked with them. Like, 
especially again this feels very friends and family like if you this is a partnership business or love interest i don't know why you guys wouldn't be talking so i feel this is mostly friends and family so you would say to them you'd be a little prickly like i don't know why you had to take a few weeks or months or whatever off from talking to me to go do this like all you would have to tell me is straight up, I have to go take care of things with my family. I have to take care of things with my finances. And I would stop asking you to come out with me every every Friday night or Saturday night to the bar. It's not like you're critical of their, the way they have approached the situation in terms of your relationship. Blocking you out or not returning your calls, not returning your texts. It feels like they were assuming that you would be upset or assuming that you would criticize them or assuming that you wouldn't support them and you're just kind of like don't be a dick <laughs> it's kind of like one of those things like if you if their perception was i thought you wouldn't support me that makes <laughs> that makes you feel like they thought you were going to be a dick and so in return you say what a dick move for you to presume or assume that I would not support you. You see what I mean? It's like, you guys, that's why I feel this is very friendly. It's like this banter. It's like this playful, teasing banter. You got two pages on both of your lines. So there is like this youthful spirit between your relationship, between your relationship, within your relationship. Okay. The second part of what you would tell Aquarius is the queen of wands in reverse. Show you that upright just so you can get a better look at it so i think you would, again i think you would tell them like this is you know the queen of wands as much as she looks like a, a bossy boss right now on this card uh i think the way it's coming up in your in, in in your side of things here viewer is that you would have told them if you didn't want to party or if you wanted to stop spending money going on like you know little weekend girls trips or whatever it is or i would have helped you like i think I think your initial message to Aquarius, if communications were to open up, would be, I'm a little cheesed off that you didn't think so highly of me. I'm, ex I'm also cheesed off that you think I wouldn't have the foresight or the respect of your personal development goals to support you. Because the Queen of uh, Wands in this reverse position is giving me the feeling of, <laughs> you know how some people are resentful when you don't ask them for help because they feel they would have been a wonderful person to help you like i had this i had a special set of skills that you could have asked me uh for assistance i would have been able to help you so it's like that it's like you feel that aquarius didn't really value you and so they stepped off and they did this on their own or they did this in consult with a professional and you're like you didn't need to go pay someone to tell you about your financial burdens do you know what like my undergraduate degree in do you know what i do for for a living like i crunch numbers all day i could have helped you do that so you know it's like i'm cheesed off that you made this from your perspective viewer bonehead move moving towards a very honorable or uh, sensible goal because I don't think anybody on this earth would ever criticize someone who's trying to get all their ducks in a row and become more mature become more of an adult I just I don't I don't see that you would if and when they were to communicate this to you you'd be like what why did you like not speak to me there's no reason for us to not have have been in communication this whole time if that was your goal like if we're both adults and that's the irony here. Again, you both have pages on both of your lines. So you're both acting immaturely, even though you both proclaim to some extent that, oh, I'm an adult, I'm an adult, or you're, you know, getting your adulting on, you know what I mean? So it's, it's kind of a matching energies. Again, that's why I feel this is very friends, buddies, you know, family members. Now, the final thing that you would tell Aquarius is the Queen of Cups. <laughs> so I think after you give them a little prickly reception, after you told them, you know how they were being silly or how they were being boneheaded you'd be like okay now let's go get drinks but i'm buying you know what i mean this would be uh i think you know a welcome because i really get this feeling that whoever this is for this is obviously not going to resonate with everybody everybody it's a general collective energy okay i don't even know who i'm reading for you could be a taurus you could be a virgo i have no idea um but I feel that 
this communication blockage or breakdown or just halt with this Aquarius is really just like a pause in, in the action. I don't feel you have it. This is basically, this isn't for somebody who hasn't spoken to an Aquarius for like 15 years. Like this is probably not your reading. <laughs> but this is for people who haven't talked to a, sp a specific Aquarius in their life for like two weeks, two months, maybe five months, something like that. Not more than a year, I would say. But I, and the reason I say that is because I feel that your side is definitely, so when can we become friendly again? Like, when can we go out again? Not that you want to necessarily get them back into bad habits and you kind of want to uh, lure them away from their goal. That's not at all your intention, but it really is like a, let's let bygones be got bygones. I, let's just, you know, sweep this misunderstanding under the, not under the rug, but let's go ahead and have water under the bridge because you made some, from, again, this is from your perspective viewer, you made a bonehead move by just, you know, icing me out or, or, you know, not returning my messages when, you know, I could have been a great ally to you or really supportive. But Aquarius has moments where I feel they have to feel this independence, right? They have to feel as though they're the maker of their own destiny and they plot their own course. I mean, <sighs> fixed air, right? <laughs> okay. So there is this very sharp line in an, in Aquarius that says, I'm going to do it by myself. And it's not to be rude to anybody else. It's just to show that I can accomplish things because, you know, uh, yeah, they just, they like to be the, they like to be the maker of their own destiny. Yeah. And so you're just like, okay, now that I understand that about you and now that you've, you know, said what you needed to say to me, let's go have some fun. Let's relax. And this is a very loving energy. You know, if the, again, if this is friends and family, you really love this Aquarius in the, in the strongest sense of platonic or familial love. You're just like, that's my bro. That's my girl. That's my best friend, or that's whomever to you. And you're just like, really have a positive line of, well, not a positive line, but you have a final point in your message to Aquarius that says, you know what? I still love you. Even if you were kind of a, a dummy <laughs> with how you approach this situation. All right. Now, collectively, what's going on between you, you share the page of pentacles and the queen of cups in the center line. So their message from you with the page of pentacles in reverse to the queen of cups is okay. They might acknowledge that with that, <laughs> in that combination, they might say to you, you know, the way I approached this maybe was a little immature. Maybe it was a little short sighted to kind of you know, maybe it's like one of those day things where like they like set their phone to like airplane mode for like several days on end or like they they do like don't you, can't you do like temporary like checkouts from like uh, social media, like temporary breaks or something like that. And it feels like they really like pulled back severely into their own space. And so they might acknowledge to you in the long run, maybe I shouldn't have gone that far. Like they're they might acknowledge that <laughs> that that page of pentacles in reverse was really um unnecessary okay it still got the job done but maybe it was an unnecessary step you know you maybe you know they still could have talked to the financial advisor even if you said i'm capable enough just as you just as that person you paid okay fine um and they would also <laughs> be open to having the drink um they might get a little tipsy if, if they've been on the wagon for a while and you guys go out and you really cut up and you know, you're, you're buying the bar out or you're getting them shots after shots. They might really like keel over. So be careful if you guys go out together and you celebrate again, <laughs> they might be really susceptible to, to, to the alcohol. Uh, what else? This is actually a quite easy reading as compared to the other four. I find that interesting. Um, and maybe like, this is kind of like in, 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 furthering this message they might also want to tell you you know maybe there's something that they admire in your approach to life maybe you know you're an accomplished person financially maybe you're very stable in your home and, and you're very secure and maybe being around you ah okay there it is in some of the cases this Aquarius felt inadequate in your relationship whether that be friends family lovers or partners it really doesn't matter but they felt insecure, unable to match what you brought to the table. Now, so a queen of cups obviously is the master of the cup suit. Oh, by the way, oh God, let me go back. Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Queen of Cups. 
uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There. Okay. Those are the signs if you want to plug in signs, but you don't have to. Oh, and the Queen of Wands. So then everybody's here. Every damn Zodiac is here. Now, moving on. <laughs> so the Queen of Cups is the master of the cup suit or one of the masters of the cup suit, right? So she's a master of her emotions. Yeah. I think that is an element of you that this Aquarius is envious of or admires, if not envious, just, just admires. Okay. And you have this fortitude about you or this it's <laughs> it's 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 a, it's a it's a combination i feel from aquarius's point of view of stoicism and and being smart and being very articulate but then also being like warm and open like it's like this is going to be a weird archetype it's just an archetype it's not a literal thing that you do but this is like the neighborhood mom that like bakes cookies but like also allows her kids to like casually cuss in her house it's like that like the mom that does like all the mom type stuff, but is also like not so traditional and so, you know, by the book that she doesn't allow people like freedom of expression around her. Okay. Again, just an archetype. You can be a male and do that. You don't have to bake cookies. You don't even have to have kids, but that's the energy that they see in you. And I think that inspired them to get their shit together in their home life. Okay. Now, your message from the, for, uh, from Queen of Cups to the Page of Pentacles to them is they see how you, they see, you see how they're attempting to grow up. You see it, okay? You recognize the ways in which, with that Page of Pentacles, like again, look at it, the ways in which maybe they were sabotaging themselves previously, okay? You can see that. You can see how they may have been spending their money a little frivolously. And so... I don't think you're necessarily apologizing, but may, or maybe, maybe you didn't see it, but maybe now you'll recognize, like if they open up to you, like literally about their financial woes, like I'm this much in debt. I make this much a year. Here's what I have in, here's what I have in this. I, I do this side hustle, blah, 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 blah. And if you have some type of experience in this Aquarius, you're crunching the numbers as they're speaking and you're like, holy shit. You really did need to do some personal inventory. You really did need to get your books under under wraps here or your checkbook balance, you know? So I think that you're going to acknowledge that they have started this recuperating or mm, whatever they're doing. You acknowledge that you're doing it. You give them credit, okay? The queen is very... <sighs> what's that called? Gracious that way. She's not going to... This is not a criticism. This this Queen of Cups is not critiquing. Well, <laughs> the, the Queen of Wands is critiquing. The Queen of Cups is just, I was going to say none of the queens are critiquing, but then I remembered who was next door and I was like, oh yeah, the Queen of Wands. But this particular queen is not in, interested in critiquing, okay? So I feel that you forgive them if, forgive, if forgiveness is needed. If they want to hear that, if you feel the need to tell them, you know, don't worry about it. You know, you will tell them that. I think it's also that you want to you want to tell them that there's no reason to be insecure around you whoever you are in whatever relationship you share with this Aquarius like <laughs> you're kind of giving them like a little pat on the shoulder like hey don't beat yourself up you know, and you're not being cocky about it. You're not like, it's okay. Most people aren't as cool as me. It's not like that. It's more of like a, my success or my stability, number one, is you might tell them, you might give them some home truths. You know, like my shit is not as glamorous as it looks on the outside. You know what I mean? So I think there's just like this open vulnerability. Like you recognize them being, or the ways in which they have viewed themselves as inadequate you then would speak out your own vulnerability in response. Oh, you think that you're terrible with money? Well, let me tell you. And then you like kind of, you know, reveal something in your financial life or something in your home life or something that affects your stability where they go, oh, you too? And you're like, yes, me too, bitch, of course. <laughs> so it's like this, it's, it's like this recognition between the two of you that you both have been in the same boat but one maybe plays it off better than the other or okay sim let's simplify it if this was quantified where to be at the top of your game you have to rank as a 10 
something like that. Like your financial life, everything, if it's perfect, you get a 10. Aquarius may have viewed you, viewer, as like being a 10 or a 9. And you're like, do you understand that I barely make it to an 8? I'm like a, I'm like a 7 and a half in terms of this and that. But I just know how to move the pieces around to kind of, you know, give myself a little wiggle room here and there. And they're like, oh my God, I'm in financial crisis. You're like, I'm like a half a step of, in front of you. It's really not that different between you and I. So I think that you're not in all your cases. If you know you're balling, you know you're balling, okay? <laughs> but it feels like this, this very pleasant reopening of communication for this group. You're the first one. I did four yesterday that it feels like communication will break open again. That's, that's cool. I don't need to uh, clarify anything because I feel the message is pretty clear. Do I need a Oracle? Cause this has been an interesting reading. Let's find out if you guys get an Oracle. Huh? Okay. Yes, thank you. This has been coming up. We're going to be doing the magical spell cards by Lucy Cavendish. Don't slide off there. All right. Book those there. Let's get a couple shuffles in here. Let's see an oracle card for those who have lost communication with Aquarius. An oracle for those not in communication with Aquarius, please. Ooh, just two. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. This reading has been nice and easy. <laughs> yesterday was a little bit of a roller coaster ride. Anyway, that was yesterday. We're in the present, Jane. We're never in the past. We're never in the past. One oracle for those dealing with... Okay. See, you're trying to slide out like three cards. No way. One card for those dealing with Aquarius is not in communication. Not in communication with Aquarius. One card, please. Ooh. One of these? Yeah. Yeah. Which one? That one. Cool. And it says, safe travel. 22. Keep me safe and let me roam far away, but bring me home. 22. Isn't that the master builder number? 22? Don't quote me. I don't know my numerology as good as I should. But if you're into that, maybe that applies to you. 22, safe travel. The excitement that accompanies a journey can often be tinged with nerves. Will we see our loved ones again? Will they or we make it safely through their adventure? If this spell has chosen you, the universe is asking that instead of being fearful, you do something to help protect those whom you love. Cast the spell and know that magic will guide them back to you safely and happily. If you chose the spell, you know that fear is impractical. <laughs> even harmful. By choosing to work this spell, you've learned a lesson already to move through fear into magical positive action. Congratulations on your caring and courageous nature. Okay. And then it tells you the spell. I do not read the spells on camera. If you want it, that's what the, that's what the book looks like. It's the same thing on the cover if you want to read the spell. But that, I mean, maybe you're traveling. I don't really see cards of travel here. Or maybe Aquarius went away. Like maybe they went to a seminar to learn about their finances and they come back and they tell you all about it. I don't know. But that whole thing about reunion is here. Like just in the reading, I think that's kind of why that card came out is to speak to you guys coming back to sort of like home base with one another. And like this being some type of reunion moment between you and Aquarius, okay? All right, viewer, whoever you are, wherever you are in the world, I thank you guys for watching this reading. It's new content. I don't know if I'll do it again. If it gets a good response with liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, or just views, I might do it again. But if it, you know, who knows? Uh, but if you did like it and you want to, you know, express that to me, you can interact with the channel in all of those uh, wonderful ways that YouTube allows you to do. Uh, if you are not subscribed again, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. You see when I do my other content, the, the, the monthlies, the mids, the birthday messages, all that good stuff. Okay. All right, guys, I appreciate you so much for watching this video tonight. Take care.